十周年，当时呢，中国政府是把这两只大熊猫是租借给了马来西亚，租期呢是十年。啊，这两只大熊猫呢，在中国的时候，它们的名字叫做福娃和凤梨。那到了马来西亚之后呢，就是要互相相处。So after they receive the two giant pandas, they have um renamed the two pandas. They are called Xin Xin and Liang Liang. These two giant pandas get along with each other very well. And in August 2015, they gave birth to their first panda cub. So the first one, the first one is called Nuan Nuan. In November 2017, Nuan Nuan was sent back to China. Two months later. Which is the uh, January this year, Liang Liang and Xin Xin gave birth to the second offspring, a female cub, and this is the one we are going to visit. And also, we have a uh, working staff, uh, Miss He from the National Zoo for Malaysia. So today we are at the panda house, which is a newly built panda house in Malaysia National Zoo. Can you give us some introduction about this panda house? This is the panda house that we built in 2014. So the size is around one hectare. And we will control the temperature between 18 to 20 Celsius degree. Of course, we will consider the uh, temperature in China, and then we will adjust the uh, temperature in this panda house. So each month, we will adjust the uh, temperature in this panda house. I think in this area, it's quite spacious. And we see this artificial habitat for the pandas. We have all of these plants, and also the ladders, the houses for the pandas. And we also set up the uh, waterfall, so these pandas can have fun in the waterfall. And also we put some ice cubes inside of this zone. So if the pandas feel very hot, they will actually lay on the ice rock. So as you can see, in the middle part of the site, there is a big ice cube. And I remember last time when I visited here, Liao Liao and Xin Xin really love to lie on the ice rock. So for this panda, which one is that? This one is Xin Xin. This is the uh, father of the newborn baby. So what's the condition of Xin Xin? So every day we will weight them. And today it is weight 130 kilogram. And, and every two months we will check their physical conditions. So where is Liang Liang? Probably she will come out at around 11 o'clock. Yesterday I came here and I see all of these layouts and the food preparations for the giant pandas. Can you give us some introduction about the um, preparation of the food? Yes, we do have a very strict um, timetable for their meals. So these giant pandas will eat seven times per day. Like every two hours, we will prepare food for them. And um, at 5 o'clock, 5 p.m., we will enter and to prepare food. And the last time we serve food is 10 p.m. So what are the food? Can you give us some introduction? Well, we will um, pre we will provide 
、uh, four types of bamboos for the pandas, and for these bamboos are are actually、uh, locally raised, and also we prepare a specialized、um, panda cake. We will also offer apples and carrots for these pandas. So, what's the weight for the total amount of the food for each panda? For bamboos, each day we will provide around like twenty kilograms of bamboo, and we will divide this twenty kilogram into seven times. And we will also provide food and the cake to the panda. And each time we will offer them two hundred grams. And we have just talked about that. Liang Liang and Xin Xin has just gave their、uh, gave birth to their first baby, Nuan Nuan. And this year, they are delivering a second offspring. So for the zoo,、um, do you feel much easier to、um, take care of the second offspring? Yes, actually, um, the first time when we see the baby panda, we're not sure how to deal with it. But at that time, we have some support、uh, from China. And this time we are much well prepared, and we can also、um, learn from the our previous experience.、Uh, we can see it is lunch time, and our working staff is delivering food to Liang Liang. So you can see、um, we are preparing the food, and later. Liang Liang will come out. You can see the breeder has laid different kinds of food at different locations. We have bamboo shoots and also carrots. Sometimes we will also offer apple. It is the second time that we deliver food today. Now we can see this working staff is、uh, putting food for Liang Liang. So when Liang Liang come out,、uh, she has to search for food. So I have a question: Why you put the food in different locations? Well, every time we just want the、uh, panda to do more exercise. We want them to move around to search for food. We don't want them to、uh, stay in one place. We just want to、um, offer more opportunities for Liang Liang to do exercise. So I think Liang Liang has to move in order to get some food. And we can see Liang Liang is coming out. Because we cannot enter into the panda house, so we are staying out of the fence. Take a look at Liang Liang. I've heard that、um, Liang Liang have different kind of reactions when she bear the first baby and the second baby, and for Liang Liang for. Her first baby, she looks very calm, but this time, she's a little bit panic during the pregnancy. For、so、last time, the、uh, pregnancy period is around 116 days, but this time, for the female baby,、um, the pregnancy time is around 89 days. So for the panda cup itself, they will not have any different. So the pregnancy period is actually ranging between like eighty six days to a hundred and twenty days. So what's the weight for Nuan Nuan, the first baby, and what about the second one? So、uh, for the baby cub that was born this year, she's twenty gram heavier than Nuan Nuan Nuan. So China has been landing giant pandas 
to over 10 countries in the world. And in other countries, um, sometimes it is not a very smooth uh, process for the giant babies to deliver babies. But for Liang Liang and Xing Xing, it seems that um, the pregnancy procedure is more s smooth. So we think maybe the temperature is much better in Malaysia. And also we offer enough food. And we also want the partners to do a lot of exercise. So their body conditions is very good for Xing Xing and Liang Liang. And also we see there's a very intimate um, relationship between Liang Liang and Xing Xing. So what are the actions that was taken by the National Zoo to protect Xing Xing and Liang Liang during the uh, pregnancy period? During the pregnancy period, we will separate these um, two giant pandas so they live in different areas. And we also check their bodies on a routine basis to ensure their health condition. Si Liang Liang is moving around to find the food. See some of the food are placed at the uh, higher place, so maybe it is a little bit difficult for her to find the food. So what's the weight for Liang Liang? So today's figure is 120 kilogram. So what's the differences uh, for the weight? At the beginning, Liang Liang only weighs around like 100 kilograms. So we can see she has been putting a lot of weight. And every day we will check their weight to make sure that they have a fit body shape. So maybe this giant panda is a little bit itching on her back. There will be a lot of a little bit of noise for this live streaming. That is actually coming from the sound of the waterfall. It is a artificial waterfall that was prepared by the National Zoo in this panda house. Now Liang Liang has been climbing up to find out another piece of bamboo. So this lady is actually the uh, veterinarian of this zoo. Can you give us some um, introduction about the health condition of Xing Xing and Liang Liang? So these two giant pandas have been in the National Zoo for around like 10 years. However, they're very good in the health condition. So for Liang Liang, even though she has been delivering birth to two babies, but still she's very healthy, just a little bit increase in the weight. Now we can see Liang Liang is very comfortable, yeah, enjoying her food. Some of the viewers might want to ask for the live streaming. We are waiting for the public appearance of the newborn baby. So where is the baby? Well, be patient. At this point, we cannot um, put the panda cup in public. So they are not ready to live with their parents. Currently, the panda cup is in special care. So how long it takes for the panda baby to join their parents? Well, maybe we wait for 10 minutes and then we can take a look on this panda cup. Well, my question is that uh, when can we let the, pan uh, the panda cup out and join her families? 
So at this point, the uh, panda baby is only five months old. Maybe eight months or nine months later, we can um, get the uh, panda baby out from the nursery room. Now we have just have a uh, brief understanding of Liang Liang and Xing Xing, and pretty soon um, we will we will go to the nursery room to take a look at the uh, giant cup. But uh, first, we will play a video to show you some background knowledge about Liang Liang and Xing Xing and their first baby.
this is that this is the public to the uh, on the this is between 11 o'clock to 12 30. now here is the uh, baby panda let's take a uh, closer look <laughs> she's really quiet today. I think she's been sleeping. <laughs> okay, we will lower our voice. So what about the uh, general condition of this panda cup? So actually we keep the cup with her parents and only by two hours we will put her here. Most of the time she was spending time with her mother because at this point she's not ready to take food and her mother is responsible to breast her. And this baby panda is actually changing teeth. So what's the weight for this baby panda? And today she weighs 11.5 kilograms. I think um, this one is more energetic compared to Nuan Nuan. Yes, Nuan Nuan is a little bit quiet, but today, as she's been sleeping, and she is also really quiet today. Okay. So for this little female baby, she does not have a name. We're waiting for the name to come for her. So it feels like you will also receive public opinions and vote for the name for this baby panda, right? That is what we did in the past, but we're not sure what's the procedure for the name for this female baby panda. So even though this baby panda is five months old, but she doesn't have a name now. By 14th of this month, she will be six months old, but now she doesn't have a name. So we just call her baby panda or little sister of Nuan Nuan. She's really quiet today. Maybe she didn't sleep well last night. So when she's in this room, there will be specialized uh, breeder accompany her. Yes, the breeder will be around this baby panda to ensure her safety so that she will not crawl out of these fences. We have been visiting this panda house for many times. I think these pandas are extremely popular among Malaysia people, especially among kids. For these children, they're exciting about the baby panda. Uh, we can see the breeder is holding her. I think she's a bit heavier to carry. Maybe she didn't sleep well last night. Because yesterday when we visited here, she was really energetic and moving around. And she's not shy, even though she's surrounded by a large group of visitors. But today she looks a little bit sleepy. So for the baby panda, uh, what kind of food that we will offer to her? Or she just taken the breast from Liang Liang? Well, we didn't provide special food for this baby panda because she's so young. So after she's eight or nine months old, 
we would provide some bamboo leaves or bamboo shoots. At this point, she's still like being breastfeeding by her mother. Even though she has already grown teeth, but she's not able to eat bamboo shoots or bamboo leaves. But still, we can feel that she's really sleepy today. We can see her teeth very clearly. She's changing teeth right now. She looks really sleepy. For this panel house, how many um, working staff in this area and how many people will serve Xinxin and Liang Liang as well as the uh, baby panda? We have seven breeders that are working for the panda house. So there will be shift for these seven people and these pandas are being taken care of for 24 hours per day. And she's also not interested about the toys. She's just really sleepy right now. Dear viewers, now we are at the uh, Malaysian National Zoo. We're at the panda house of this national zoo. And for this little one we have just seen, it is the second offspring from Liang Liang and Xing Xing, both of which are loaned to Malaysia in 2014. And her older sister has returned to China last year. In a week time, this baby panda will be six months old, and she's very healthy right now compared to her older sister. She's more energetic, but maybe today she's a little bit tired. Now we can see she's holding her best friend, the little toy panda. So this area is a special nursery room for the baby panda. And you can see the visitors, they are taking photos and seeing the baby panda at specific time. And today we get the uh, special approval to enter into this nursery room and give you a closer look on the baby panda. She changed a position, but it feels like she wants to sleep. We don't want to interrupt or disturb the baby panda because we know she's really sleepy right now. So Today, we're very happy to come here to do the live streaming. And special thanks to the working staff for the National Zoo. Thank you so much. Again, national treasure, lovely panda. We wish 
all the best future for Xinxin, Liang Liang, and their new baby, and wish them a happy life in the National Zoo of Malaysia. Hopefully, these pandas can bring joy to the children and the people of Malaysia. We will continue to follow the development and the life of Xinxin and Liang Liang. So that comes to end to the live streaming. Thank you for watching.